Mardin, we heard there that President Putin said they're targeting specifically terrorist groups. That's not very specific, though, is it? We don't know which groups they're after. Well, I think that that, that is true, uh, but um, for now. But I think um, that Putin's uh, position and his goals are, are clearer than the West, and I think this is a challenge to Western diplomats and statecrafters to actually come up with a position or to have to delineate their position more than they have done so far. And I think that's that's the, the kind of wave of rhetoric that's accompanied these airstrikes over the past few days by Putin demonstrates. I mean, his goal is quite simple. He's going to protect Bashar al-Assad and the state of Syria, and he's yes. going to combat the opponents of that state. Which are not the goals the UK, the US, and others would necessarily want. But there could be some side benefits here. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I think th th there's, there's no point in... Uh, uh, in understating the, the depth of the, of the crisis. I think it's, Syria, Syria will not exist in the form that, that it existed in a few years ago ever again. Uh, Bashar is, in, is incapable of regaining the territory that he's lost. And today in Syria, people are only... Uh, anyone who's fighting is fighting either for the state, i.e. for Bashar, mm -hmm. or for a caliphate or an, an emirate, uh, or for a free Kurdistan in, in uh, northeast of the country. And because of that, Syria is an almighty Those mess. Those are the options. And yeah. the, who controls where? is an ever-changing thing. But Russian strikes have hit Homs and Hammer provinces. What's your reading of that? Uh, I, well, I think it shows, uh, for now, uh, perhaps it's best not to read too much into it, but it does show that um, uh, the, the two goals are intertwined uh, for Russia, i.e. combating the groups that the West has, uh, at, at some stage, has helped, uh, has supported, uh, even though they've morphed into something else over time. Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, uh, and the support of the state. I mean, those two things are, are the same goal. Uh, and of course, the Islamic State itself is not, uh, has cleverly, let's say, avoided direct con too much direct confrontation with the state and has instead, over the past few months, been focused on, on dealing with the other rebel groups as well. So the rebel groups, in many sense, in, in many ways, pose the most direct threat to Bashar. And so Russia has, has, has begun by, by it appears, by, by attacking them spe specifically demonstrating very clearly its, mm. its support for, for, for the Syrian state and the government of Bashar al-Assad.